Hello, today we're factoring ax squared plus bx plus c where term a equals 1. Our second degree term equals 1. In this example, x squared plus 8x plus 15, we're going to factor 15 and find what factors of 15 add up to 8 because the factors of x squared do not affect the rest of the problem. These are very easy to factor uh, and tend to be very good practice if you're weak at factoring. So we factor 15. Well, 1 times 15 will obviously give me 15. Another factor of 15 that I have is 3 times 5. Another factor of 15, positive 15, would be negative 1 times negative 15. And the final factor of 15 would be negative 3 times negative 5. Now, in a polynomial, where the highest order term has a coefficient of 1, these factors must add up to equal the middle term. Well, I know that negative 1 and negative 15 add up to a negative number, and I know that negative 3 and negative 5 add up to a negative number. So because the middle term is positive, I can ignore all negative factors. That leaves me with 1 and 15, and 3 and 5. And I know that 3 plus 5 equals 8. So, those are my factors. Now how do we express our answer? Well, what are the factors of x squared? It's x times x. And so what you need to do is write your factors in groups. One from this side grouped with one from this side. So what is our answer? would be x plus 3 times x plus 5. Now, looking at this, you say, okay, well, that's my answer. Good for me. How do you know your answer is right? Whenever you factor a polynomial, you can always check your answer by multiplying. So we're going to check by multiplying. So x plus 3 times x plus 5. We distribute this term and we distribute this term. x times x is x squared. x times 5 is 5x. 3 times x is 3x. And 3 times 5 is 15. Last but not least, we combine like terms. 5x plus 3x makes 8x. Is this our original problem? Yes. So what does that say about our answer? Our answer is correct.